There were doubts last season as Pep Guardiola, for only the second time in his managerial career, failed to win the league title. As he insisted, he could not change his approach and made alarming statements, to a British audience at least, about not coaching tackling. There are questions as to whether his methods could work in the competitive world of the Premier League. With the league title wrapped up a month from the end of the season and City on course for record numbers of both points and goals, the answer has been emphatic. This perhaps is part of the classic three-year cycle. The first season is one of assessment, with the manager coming to understand his players and the environment and the players learning his methods. The second is one of achievement as those lessons are put into practice. And the third is of refinement, of trying to sustain that success. In retrospect, it seems clear that Guardiola was slow to recognise the need to upgrade his fullbacks, and that while he was correct in his assessment of Joe Hart, the goalkeeper he brought in to replace him, Claudio Bravo, was ill-equipped to deal with the physicality of the Premier League. Both those oversights have rapidly been corrected. Jesse Mourinho made gripe about the money that City have spent, a net £360 million since Guardiola arrived. But while there are understandable concerns about the origin of that money, what has characterised it has been how well targeted it has been. City's record signing is the £57 million they spent on the defender in the report. This is the opposite of what Paris Saint-Germain have done. They've not gone out and just bought a couple of celebrity strikers. <laughs> Their spending, rather, has been conducted in accordance with a very clear picture of the team as a whole. Second time, because Guardiola's ideas on positioning, and that's what he values above all else, are not intuitive to players who've not been brought up to play his way. For him, following the theories of Rinus Michels and Johan Cruyff, football is primarily about the distribution of players on the pitch. Every time a man has the ball, he wants him to have at least two passing options. To achieve that, he divides the training pitch into 20 zones. Ideally, there should never be more than one man in one zone, never more than four zones in a horizontal line occupied, never more than three in a vertical line occupied. If the players can do that, then it should guarantee passing angles for whoever does have the ball. When Guardiola had success at Barcelona in his first season, he was working at a club where that style is taught from the academy onwards, and that's where he learned it in the 80s and early 90s. At Bayern, the players have been prepared for Guardiola by two years under Louis van Gaal. His philosophy is rooted in those same ideals that Linus Michels and Jan Cruyff took from Ajax to Barcelona. But at City, Guardiola was starting almost from scratch, as well as adapting himself to the idiosyncrasies of the Premier League, where the play is quicker and more physical, and where contact between players is less likely to be penalised. City this season have attacked down the middle 18% less than Barcelona did in 2010-11, as the ball has been moved out of that congested central area. The goal from a low cutback cross has become almost a signature move. The question is what happens next? The great Hungarian coach Bela Gutmann never said at any club for more than three years. By then, he reasoned, the players had heard everything he had to say and it became almost impossible to motivate them. A coach, he said, was like a lion tamer. As soon as the first glimmer of doubt was there, the act was over. Some, Valerie Lomanovsky to Alex Ferguson, constantly evolve their ideas and ruthlessly prune their squad in order to keep going. But football's full of examples of those who hang around for too long and become almost self-parodies. The example of Arsene Wenger at Arsenal stands as a grim warning of the dangers of longevity. Guardiola's contract expires in June next year and he's not yet agreed an extension. Guardiola is intense. He exhausts himself and those around him by the way he does the job. By the time he left Bayern after three years, there was a sense he'd begun to grate on players and staff. His fourth season at Barcelona was probably a mistake as well. So can Guardiola defy Gutmann's three-year rule and establish a dynasty? Does he even want to?